Do you want to start trading gold? Watch this video and make sure you watch until the end. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Esther Mofri. So if you want to trade gold and you don't have a working strategy, you have either been blowing, losing, or you have ever you have never even attempted to trade gold. Once you complete this video, I'm telling you, you will go to your MT4 and attempt for the first time. Then come back to this video and let me know how it went. So we will be doing a strategy that I'm working on to give it more details. But as much as I'm working on that strategy, you can still backtest it, try it, and give me a good feedback on the videos that are uh, on this video, okay? So you will only be required to know two candles. We have so many candlesticks, so many candlesticks. Like this chart is combination of so many candlesticks. Bullish Engav, Bearish Engav, Marubozu, Spinning Top, Shooting Star, all those candlesticks. But in this strategy, we only need two candlesticks. So this is a strategy that will you will need to master two candlesticks. Uh, and then you want to master two time frames. So I'm still back testing and understanding which is the best two time frames to work with. And because this is gold and it has worked on these two time frames, kindly listen. If I do this on a certain video and I say this is for gold, uh, if you try it on other currencies, I don't know the win rate because I have back tested this strategy using gold. Okay. So the first candle that I want us to understand that candle is called a bullish angle. So a bullish angle is when sellers are in control or sellers are in the market like that, then buyers comes and overtake sellers. This is what we call bullish angle. Anytime you will hear someone saying, I have a bullish angle, what they mean is that initially sellers were in control, then buyers have overtaken the market and they have uh, they have taken the power, they have taken the control. So this candle is called bullish angle. So the first thing you need to go and start exercising, you can exercise bullish engulf to identify bullish engulf in your chart. So if I come here and I want to identify a bullish angle, you can see here I have a bullish angle. This candle, these are small candle. So the market was selling, this is what I'm saying. The market has been selling. You can see the market has been selling, going down. And then all of a sudden, we have this uh, small red candle and then a big bullish engulf. That's what bullish engulf means, okay? And then the second candle that we, I want you to master, it's called a hammer. So the next candle I want you guys to master is a hammer. So we will be using two candles, a bullish engulf and a red hammer. And in this case, it should be red in color. So the hammer should be red in color. I know we still have a green hammer, but I have seen a red hammer working on this strategy. So you will need two strategy, a bullish angle and a hammer, okay? So you will need two candlestick patterns, a bullish angle and a hammer. Once you get these two, uh, two candlesticks and you are able, and sometimes a hammer may look like something like this, may have a small body. So uh, don't start confusing with, oh, how is the body size? And sometimes it can even have a wick on top. So both of these candles, we can call them a hammer. It all depends with the broker that is printing your candles, okay? So we can have a hammer and I want you to master how hammers are printing more so in the in gold. So we have the two candlesticks, bullish engulf and the hammer. Now the two time frames is four hours and 30 minutes. I have been back testing to see which time frame goes well with 30 minutes uh, with four hours. Uh, and and I have seen if you scale, if you're analyzing on four hour and then you scale down to 30 minutes either to get an entry it is giving me results more than going to another time frame. So I'm still back testing, and I have said I'm still back testing. And you, the only thing you can do after watching this video is to try to back test on your end. Is to try to back test so that we can know. I have not, I have not known 
the win rate of this strategy. I have not I have not known the win rate of this strategy because I'm still back testing it. So for hour and thirty minutes, it's like the way people say: if I get something on daily, I will scale to four hour. If I get something on four, I will go to one hour. So this strategy is four hour and then we go to thirty minutes. Now imagine that's all we need. So first thing we need to identify. So here we have two time frames and we have two candles. We need to know which which um which uh, is the first candle that we need to get. So something I need to tell you guys, anytime you see a hammer, hammer is a representation of rejection. Sellers are being rejected. Sellers are being rejected. So if sellers are being rejected, how, how do we know sellers are being rejected? We know by the week that is left. You can see the week. So this candle was once a big bearish red candle. And if something happens and sellers are, they don't have momentum to, to sustain the price at that low, they will start, buyers will start taking control. And as buyers are taking control, we can see the week being left. So the week, the presence of the week is what tells us that there was rejection of sellers at that zone. So once sellers are rejected, if I interpret this hammer as sellers being inter rejected, I can still interpret bullish anger as a rejection of sellers. So these two candles, what they represent, they represent sellers being rejected. So for instance, we can have a whole day of sellers having in control, and then the following day, buyers can push the market even more higher and that makes the market, uh, that makes that candle to engulf even the open of the day and it closes even more higher. So making buyers go back to being controlled and sellers be defeated. So these two candlesticks, they are saying the same thing. It's just that both of the candlesticks are saying sellers are beca have become weak, buyers have taken over. But bullish anger is more strong because the first one has told us what has happened. So the first one has told us the sell sellers have been rejected and we don't know what happened because sometimes you can get sellers being rejected and again, they will attempt. They can still attempt to push the market down. So the first one is not strong like the, sec the, the, sec the first. The second one, the hammer is not strong as the bullish anger. So if I can compare the two candles, which one do I think it is more strong? For me, I would say bullish anger is more strong because not only we are being shown sellers are being rejected, we are being told buyers have come in. In the second hammer, we are being told, in this candle, we are being told just sellers are being rejected. So what I want you to, to note is that on the higher time frame, I want us to, to be on the look of, of um, hammer. So on the higher time frame, we will be looking at hammer. So we just need to know that sellers are being rejected. That is for, we just need to know sellers are being rejected. So if sellers are being rejected on four hour, we go now, we scale down to 30 minutes to look for a bullish anger. And that is the strategy. I have not, uh, I have, I'm still working on the rules. Once I get everything in order, I will definitely let you know. So these are the first stages of me backtesting and doing this strategy. And I'm I'm double sure that by the time you yourself you're backtesting, you will have some evidence that it is really working. So we have to go to four hour time frame. Four hour, what are we looking for? We are looking for a hammer. So four hour, we are looking for a hammer. And on 30 minutes, we'll be looking for a bullish anger. Let's practice. Kindly pay atten be attentive and let us uh, practice so that we can see if it's making sense. So you can see uh, I, I am here and I am trying to look at the hammer I have told you. So I will open my chart and hammer is a red candle. So these red candles are not hammer. So this one, it would have been an, a hammer if it didn't have the long week. So because of this long week, it is in the category of a spinning top. And because, guys, because again, 
Hama is a rejection of sellers. We don't want to get Hama on top here. Like you don't want to tell me, but we have Hama around here. No, Hama should be at the support area because sellers are the ones who are being rejected. So we have to look for a market that is going on the downtrend. That is the first thing. Any market that is going on a downtrend and then you look at the support area. So there we do not have. If I come here, I don't have, if I come here, I don't have, you can see it's not as easy as you may, you may think. Here I have one, you can see here I have this hammer. Can you see this hammer? It is so visible. Can you see? Now this is something I'm saying. You have to look at this hammer where even if I do like this, it's at a support area. You can see this market is at support area. That's why I'm saying. Now, if you see that hammer, you scale down to 30 minutes to look for a what? What are we looking for? We are looking for a buy, and the buy will get with a bullish anger. And on my left here, I still have another hammer. Can you see? There's another hammer here. And this one looks so good, and it is so visible. Sometimes even I wonder, why don't we see such trades? And this is a hammer. So if I can backtest this for you guys and show you uh, with an example what I mean. So let's say you have opened your chart and you have seen this hammer. And I have said that, that hammer should be at, 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 um, at support. So you have seen this hammer at the support area. So what are you supposed to do? If this, this hammer is a rejection, yes, they have broken. You know, majority of people will come and sell because the market has broken, but they don't read. The weak means, yes, even if support has been broken, it means sellers have been rejected on this zone. So if we go to 30 minutes and we spot a bullish angle, that market should be a, should buy. And you can see even when we go to 30 minutes, it's like we have a zone. So the market has been ranging. So we don't know what will happen to this market. And the reason I have put this line is because if our market starts to break down like that, we do not have a trade or it's a, a way of exiting. So we are looking for bullish and girl. And because this is 30 minutes, you will have patience to look for your bullish and girl. You can see immediately where if you entered on four hour, you would be on drawdown. So the market has started to go down. And as I'm checking, I don't have a bullish and girl. So we can see what is happening. And guys, do we have a bullish NGAF there? Of course, we have a bullish NGAF. That candle, you have to squeeze your chart, zoom in or zoom zoom it so that you can know if it, it is a bullish angle. And then now we want to at least, you know, gold is volatile. Don't over target, target at least like 50 pips. So we'll be targeting like 50 pips or you can target to the next uh, resistance. So either you can target 50 or you can target 25. It's your preference. Whatever you want to target, you just target that. So because of this bullish engulf, I want us to see what really happened to this trade. Did it hit our take profit? You can see the market hit our take profit. And the first time it hit the 25 pips, then our take profit. Now, there was no much drawdown on that trade. That's what I'm saying. Guys, can you just back test so that we can know if this strategy is really working and as i'm looking for the name of this strategy so let's look for for another uh, another hammer i can see another hammer here and and you can see the market continued to buy even if i allow this market to do like this it continued to buy you are just getting 50 pips but the market bought with so many pips so this strategy it's it's really working it went with 333 pips but we cannot over target because the strategy we have not really perfected on the target and over targeting. Okay. So we just need 50 pips and we are good. This is the second example of, um, of a hammer. If you look at it, we can see there is a support creation. So I have said you have to have a support area to support your hammer. So let this hammer not float on the air. So here there was a red followed by green a support was created. So the market has come back here and you have been created a hammer. 
So the least thing we can do is to go to 30 minutes. And this time, we are going to look for a bullish angle, guys. So uh, I'm going to look for a bullish angle on 30 minutes. That's my 30 minutes. Let's see what really happened. So the market started to go up, to go up without us having the bullish end gap. And you might be wondering what is not, what is not happening. And you can see, guys, here we didn't have, we didn't get the bullish end gap. You can see that is the first attempt of us getting the bullish end gap. We never got the bullish end gap. So you will continue checking the trade and, and see if you can have another chance of having the bullish end girl. So that is some another thing. So we have another attempt of having a bullish end girl. And the second attempt was almost, but it failed to close. You know, it has to end girl up to the week. And sometimes if you're doing this strategy, you have to be very patient because sometimes if you if you're so quick with it, it may not be accurate as you may think okay so we still have you can see how the ranging market if we took this uh, as our as our bullish angle we only have gotten 38 pips it has refused to go up because the market makers know that's not a bullish angle okay so we are looking another attempt of bullish angle it didn't you can see the green candle refused to to break the to to cover bullish angles are supposed to cover okay so another attempt so we have so many attempts and the question is why are we not having bullish angles and i came to realize sometimes when market doesn't want to buy sometimes you do not have a bullish angle so what you have been looking for finally we have it you can see that's a very very cool like you're not even forcing it's a bullish end gap that is very defined. It, you, it is visible. So you come and target your 50 pips. So we started looking for the bullish end gap around here Monday, and we have got it on Tuesday. So it's like in a day, you have got what you are looking for. So let's target 50 pips. Kindly, tag, uh, kindly do back testing of this strategy. And it's my prayer that you will be able to get it. And that's how the market went. So after the bullish engulf, we had a drawdown of 37 pips. And then the market even continued further. I think I will do the last example. Let me do the last example. There are so many bullish uh, hammers in the. You can, you can check so many hammers uh, in the chat. There are so many hammers. Like here we have a hammer. Like uh, this one is a very big hammer, so I may not consider it. And around here we have a hammer, guys. And you see, I was just going through this. Even here we have a hammer. So I was just going through and I was like, what? So you mean this thing is this serious? And I will continue to backtest until I get more satisfied that this strategy will even work on other currencies because I have only tried it with GBP pairs, JPY pairs, and now gold because they are volatile. So I go to 30 minutes. The reason why I'm going to 30 minutes is because I have my hammer, okay? Now I go to 30 minutes. That is me on 30 minutes. So I am looking for, uh, I'm looking for a bullish angle. And you can see the market immediately, it starts to go down. And with no wasting time, it has given me a bullish end gap. Okay, so I will come here and target how many pips? 50 pips, guys. So if I target 50 pips and I start to wait for the market to hit TP and the market hit TP. So I will continue back testing this strategy. The reason why I'm saying this is because sometimes uh, when you're doing back testing, it, it seems so easy. But for the currently, if I go back to the market where gold is right now, currently, I don't think we had uh we had this this we cannot I cannot call this a hammer because this is like a spinning top. I am really looking forward to see a hammer and 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 I have said don't pick a hammer like this. Hammer does not happen on top. 
like hammer happens below at the support area. So I'm really eager to see what will happen if I really find a hammer in this chart. I'm also on four hour, what will happen? And now I've started even to backtest lower time frames to see. So I, ha I still don't have the full information of how much the winning rate is, is for this uh is for this kind of a strategy. But if you have been wondering by the way, how can I trade gold? Now you have an answer. Thank you so much for watching. If you have loved how I teach and you would want to to either to either buy my course or be on a Zoom meeting for international students or do anything uh, with my my mentorship. You know, this is pre-mentorship and I don't want people to be scammed out there uh, where you're being, you're being told that uh, I'm, I'm giving Bitcoins, all those things. So I just want to give you my number and then you can pause the video and pick the number. It will be easier if you it will be easier if you text it, text me through the number directly because I have seen many people being uh, scammed by Esther Mofri who are being impersonating me. So in case you want my course, it's a thousand dollars. One strategy is a hundred dollars, and if you want my one-on-one -on -one mentorship, the international Zoom mentorship that goes for one month is fifteen hundred dollars. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.